The COVID crisis is not my first one. I guess the first big one that really hugely impacted me was when I started my first business. Uh, that was in 1997. Um, so started the business in uh, 1997 itself. Crazy. Um, had, had passed a point of no return. Um, and then really crashed spectacularly uh, in 1998. I was uh, wounded. Um, I had $300,000 ringgit in debt. Uh, no assets. I had to figure out. I had to figure a way out. And I was lucky enough to figure a way out. Um, uh, I joined Job Street, and Job Street became quite a great success. I think the biggest thing it always has been um, you know, sort of having a positive, um, positive approach. I always think of the glass half full. Um, so even when the worst things, worst things happen, uh, I, I'm able to look at the positive side. So sometimes I doubted my own um, ability uh, to withstand crisis, to withstand uh, difficulties. But having that positive, um, uh, positive mindset actually really, really helped. The key question that all entrepreneurs must ask, including yourselves, is how can you get to cash flow positive? That means money coming into the business, and this is cash coming into the business, exceeds the cash coming out. Getting cash flow positive is the most liberating thing that you can do as an entrepreneur. That means you don't have to worry about where your next uh, your next funding will come from. You can just sit tight, carry on in business, and wait for people to come for you to proposals with deals and so on, um, because you don't have to hunt for money anymore. That's when your business pays for itself. I think that's the holy grail of uh, entrepreneurship, and I guess in companies that I've invested in, that's the first thing that we look for, that we ask them to do. Get to cash flow positive, everything else will fall into place. The deals will come. Focus on your business for now. Get your business going, get your business running. It's, it's, it's tough time, so it's probably a great thing to sort of sort of see, you know, uh, how you can do, uh, how you can survive this crisis. I think that's really, really important. Um, one word that sums up Bismarck Challenge: resilience. I think you need the uh, this this year, next year, this competition is all about resilience. If you survive this, you you can survive anything. Take care, guys.